Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and welcome back to your hands on the reins. Today we're going to go over horses that are uh, really spooky out on the trails, whether they're leading or whether they're behind. And um, Mackie here is pretty spooky when he's out front, but uh, in the hind he has a lot more confidence because other horses are in front of him, and he's depending on them for his safety. So he's got to learn how to ride out here out front. And what he often wants to do is go on a witch hunt, looking behind every tree, every rock for the boogeyman, which doesn't exist. And um, it'd be kind of like us going, you know, walking through a graveyard maybe at two in the morning. We'd be looking at behind every tombstone, every tree. The slightest sound would probably be jumping and running home to change our drawers. And the same thing goes with the horses here. So if he already is convinced the boogeyman exists out here, you know, the slightest sound is going to, would uh, really spook them. So the cues you're going to really want to make sure on your horse that the horse knows is what we did in part one and part two of your hands on the reins, which was flexing them, uh, disengaging that hip, which would be your safety net. And then of course the calm down cue and speed control. So we're going to start working on the calm down cue as we go along here. You can see how he's looking around for things, uh, really looking around for things to spook at. And he's not like this in the hind. And again, that's because he is is uh, depending on the horses up in front of him for his safety and uh, that's what he's that's what he's depending on so he's not used to riding out front what we're gonna do is like we did in part one is really work with his uh, calm down cue the head elevation so if I pick up on a rein he starts dropping his head a little bit and the second thing he's gonna really need more than anything uh, besides the calm down cue and speed control is exposure out here riding by himself yeah. and riding with other horses but he has to ride up front he has to be the leader so we're just gonna kind of let him go along here and oh there's a deer whoop oh, yep there he saw it so that was a good one so there he dropped his head there he dropped his head a little oh, no. drop your head good that was good so the deer is right there looking at us you see it She's right there yeah. I'm a point Mackie They're right there. So if you can't see that, there's a deer right there. Mackie sees it. So what we're gonna do is ask Mackie to drop his head. Drop your head. He chops his head, he relaxes. The deer goes off by himself. So this was a uh, really good example of the calm down cue. Um, now we're gonna kind of follow the deer a little bit. Let's see what he does here. So the deer's right off to my right, right there. And we're gonna uh, right by it. Huh? And you can see the deer, so I'm going to go ahead and drop Mackie's head, tell him to relax. There you go, good boy. All right, let's move on because we're going to walk into him here in a minute because the trail goes off to the right. So, whoop, there you, there you go. Then Mackie instantly relaxes, lowers his head. Now we're going to keep going. All right, well, that was a really good job today, Mackie. That was good. Yeah, now we're going to keep going on our trail ride. So this is a preview of part two, working with the horses that are really spooky out on the trails. To watch this full video, join my membership page. Just go to Google, type in my Q's horsemanship members page, click on the link and subscribe. When you do, make sure you join my group page on Facebook where you post pictures of you with your horse, videos of you working with your horse and ask questions so I can help you and your horse more. All 280 videos are in full with step-by-step -step easy to follow methods. And each lesson is broke down into steps that your horse can learn in a calm, relaxed manner. So we hope to see you there and have a great time with your horses. Thank you.